I want to cover the use of the safety ropeman that is included with your system. Um, the position of the ropeman should be such that the spring-loaded cam cleat with teeth should be facing down when hanging from the rope in this position. So in order to use this, uh, this is going to be creating a closed loop in the system so that, especially during high-level dynamic activities, uh, the rope has no chance of it being disengaged from the cam cleat uh, on the upper pulley. So we're just going to slide this straight up. If you're using it with a spreader bar, an easy place to attach it is simply to the hole that the other uh, carabiner is attached to. And then we just take up the slack, and now we've created a closed loop system. In order to take this back off, simply lift up or pull on the orange tab and just pull the rope back out. You want to pull most of the rope there to give yourself plenty of slack so that as you unclip and you go to release your system, the ropeman does not end up high up onto the pulley system. I want to talk about how to use the ropeman with a system that involves a single point attachment. So in those cases where you're not using a spreader bar in a low ceiling height situation where you may be uh, connecting the um, pulley system to this V-ring at the center of the, the back here, we're just going to take the ropeman and use it just like we explained with the spreader bar and we're going to clip that, in this case, into the V-ring here along with the carabiner for the main pulley system and just take up the slack. So again, I'm creating a closed loop in the system. In order to release that, we're just going to pull on the orange tab, pull some slack out in the rope, unclip our carabiner, and now we can freely use and lower the system.